the Obama Atomically series, off the Ghetto Cam, off the Bold Blackberry, all that stuff. Because right now, we're going to give it to you straight. My eyes, my footage, my experience brought to you Elemental P style. That's what's up. Obama Atomically, baby. Definitely on the bus on my way to DC. Definitely some ground breaking historical. Like, this is gonna be so crazy. A lot of people excited that my man for the world. T Rex T Rex in the building. Got my man DJ Spoons from Legacy Sound. This is gonna be some really like wow. I can't even speak about it. It's truly amazing. It feels like our president is black too, and history's being made for us as well, you know? Yeah. And I think too, like what's really good about it is like the way it's brought like a lot of people together. And I think that a lot of us really didn't expect to witness something like this and I mean this is something I could talk to my grandkids about like similar to the way like I wish my parents had maybe had witnessed a part of history when talking about Malcolm X or Martin Luther King so this is definitely something I want to be a part of so as you heard and as the saying goes Tupac said so eloquently even though we ain't heaven sent we ain't ready to have a black president I think going down there really represented that change in hope The soundtrack of this presentation is provided by the sounds of my man Colin Monroe, Piano Lessons. Now the message in this song is definitely in line with the reasons for my travel. The border? The border? Border? The border? Man, I don't even really know what to say about that. I think, for me personally, without a great cause, you can't have struggle. And being at the border definitely taught me one thing. I needed to be where I was going. These guys were asking us all kind of weird questions. And I mean, you're thinking, this is a time for change. This is supposed to be the one time that represents something different than what we've been doing for the past. Here we are thinking, we're going for a time of change. We're gonna see the first black president. Everybody's all happy. And we're stuck at the border on some discrimination stuff, asking people their name, saying where you're from. We are moving away from the things we used to do in the past. We get stuck at the border for nine hours. Get our bags checked, treated like dogs, and then they wanna give us free pizza? No, not cool. Back on the road again. Okay, so here's what you missed. Okay. So we were stuck in the, stuck at, the at the border for eight hours. Shouts out the future. Um, yeah, stuck at the border for eight hours. And then what happened was I was around with the camera that I don't know how to use ironically. Hi. What's up? Okay, we're video blogging. How did you enjoy the wait? I didn't enjoy it, but I was patient. Okay, so, so was I. I wasn't upset at all. I was pretty happy. Yeah, um, I mean, the end result is what we're here for, right? But, uh. It's real deep out here in Washington. We're brushing our teeth. Walk around. We're real hygienic out here. You know what I'm saying? Real hygienic, I said. Okay, so right now we made it actually to Washington. We were on the bus for about 20 hours. Got like everybody walking. And um, yeah, that's what's up. Um, crazy historical movement right here. Like yeah, man, it's like really nuts. You can see like all the buses and stuff. Like real crazy, and we really here in DC. It's really crazy. I'm cold as hell, man. Sick. Man. Woo. So yeah, I'll check in with you in a minute. And yeah, we're good. Definitely being there, Washington, D.C. 
all of these people. They say 2.5 million, I say at least 5 million. Or at least that's how it felt. The minute this guy came on and said these words, To those leaders around the globe who seek to sow conflict, con 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 conflict, or blame their society's ills on the West, know that your people will judge you on what you can build, not what you destroy. To those, to those who claim to power through corruption and deceit. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Obamatomically craziness. As you can see, speechless, man. I don't even know what to say. Like, I think, despite everything we've been through on this trip, I definitely think it was well worth it. Seeing this, like, I don't know if this is inspiring to you, just like looking at it, because you guys are seeing it through the TV lens and on the YouTube and Twitter and all that, but I'm talking like seeing it in person. This is craziness, man. This is like absolutely insane. can't judge a man based on what he is, you have to judge a man based on his actions and hopefully one day hope will really come into reality. Well I mean really for me personally, this trip wasn't even about Barack Obama, it was me really going to see if hope exists. Because in this day and time, you have a mega ton of evil and one ounce of good. And just like Colin Monroe said, don't bet on me I'm a long shot. Cause on that bet, it's a million to one. Don't bet on me, I'm a long shot. Cause out of the million, I might be the one. So with that said, we're gonna see if it does exist. Cause I believe it does. Don't bet on me, I'm a long shot.